morning. Hi guys. So I wanted to just really jumped out at me this morning. Um, yesterday we just were, you know, renewing um, and being renewed and talking about that. And today, um, as I was waiting to hear what God put on my heart, um, I'm at Colossians 3. And I'm not reading all the way through, but let me just read 12. It says, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved. And this is the part with really, it gave me a visual. So put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering. And then I'm going to jump down to um, jump over 13, 14. Nope, it's 14. And then it says, but above all these things. Put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And I'm just going to go back to that. So in Colossians 3, the second part of 12, it says, put on, it's like a coat, right? Think of it like a coat. Put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering. And each one of those is like a lesson, right? So mercy is. Oh my gosh, there's so much involved with that. Okay, this is blurry now, but that's okay. I already read it. Um, in kindness, meekness is a word that, um, you know, I have had someone come up to me and talk about being meek in a way that is very different than how um, God and Jesus wants us to put on that meekness. So that's a whole nother lesson. But the put on, the word put on, if you can think about a jacket, right? Think about a jacket before you go out in the cold or, you know, put on. Put on the tender mercies, the kindness, the humility, the meekness, the long suffering. But above all that in 14, above all that, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And when I just think of that it's like put on love because what does jesus say i just this is finished right love the greatest of the greatest of these is love so i just wanted to um kind of talk about that but then from yesterday's renewal i felt like we needed to be steady i needed to be steady in that renewal, right? Keep that renewal up here as it continues to the day, the busyness of life continues to like bop the renewal, um, the sense, uh, the, um, the, the heightened place that we got to from just kind of being made full again on Sunday, you know, um, that we remain steady. And in that steady, you know, God really showed me how to, where do I get this steady from God? I can't carry the pastor around with me wherever I go, you know, because the pastors, they get excited and they have all these scriptures and then they can point to all these experiences and really bring the Bible to life in like uh, a real sense to you. And it's like, okay, well, I mean, I don't know how to do that. So what do I do, God? And, you know, God showed me come to your knees each morning, Erica, and um, and come and spend time with me. So I think that's part of my study, you know, that's part of my study. And in uh, scripture also it talks about study, you know, in 2 Timothy, it says, as for you, be calm and cool and steady, accept and suffer unflinchingly every hardship do the work of an evangelist fully perform all the duties of your ministry and there's a lot in there but i'm just gonna um you know the suffering we're all suffering in some formal fashion we have all types of things going on we have family members that are sick or some that have passed away um we just there's all types of things that we're kind of suffering through right so be steady in that suffering. And then that steady it reminds me of being in the spirit, getting down on my knees and 
getting renewed each and every morning. And then it's like a, maybe like a double uh, renewal when I'm being renewed on my knees. And then some parts during the day, I'm being renewed with like a, a person of faith that just comes with the power of the Holy Spirit. And it just kind of speaks and brings this exclamation point into your life during your day. So just be steady because we're all going through some some form or fashion of suffering. And then it says unflinchingly, suffer unflinchingly. That I'm pretty sure I can't do. So we're not going to go there for me, but do the work of an evangelist. Now, evangelist, that's like a whole nother calling. I think what I can do is in that respect is I can just share, you know, I can share what's um, my prayer is sometime and share the love that God showed me. And then it says, perform all the duties of your ministry, which, you know, there's no official ministry that's going on here. Um, I'm just sharing kind of um, what God shared with me and how God um, just led me to pray each morning and be renewed up each morning in the spirit and then go to his word each morning and go to the the D word each morning um, and share it with you. So I just want to share that with you this morning for you to stay encouraged, to be renewed and to be steady and to put on, put on that love, you know, put it on before you go to bed. So it covers your mind from all of the possible uh, not so pleasant dreams that we may or may not have. Put it on before you leave the house, put it on before you leave the bed, because sometimes um, you know, when you wake up, you might have kids or dogs or all these different things going on. So you put on that love, put on that humility that you need. Put it on like a sweater. Mm. Boom. So I just wanted to share that with you this morning. And um, now on this beautiful Monday, June 15th, I want to go ahead and pray us out. So I want you to have a wonderful day. God, I just take this time right now and I just pray for us in the name of Jesus. In the power of the Holy Spirit that resides inside of us, dear God, I just pray right now for that, uh, that spirit inside of each and every one of us at this moment where we sit, we stand, or lay in the name of Jesus, that we allow the softness of our heart, we allow the softening of our innards to be moldable to your perfect love that you that you are and that you have for us and that you want for us and that you want to fill us with, God, so that we feel that love within ourselves. We we love you, but we we allow you to love us and we allow us to acknowledge that we can be patient and loving with ourselves, God. And once all of that happens, God, and that fullness comes and that Feeling comes, God, that it has no choice but to come out. It's just there's not enough room in this physical situation going on here. So that has to pour out, God, like your word tells us, God. And we have to tell someone. We have to. It's, it's not even a question anymore of should I or it's just your perfect love filling us us acknowledging it, us being filled with it, us allowing ourselves to be loved, to experience patience, kindness, peace, gentleness, joy within ourselves, God. And it just is so much, it's uncontainable. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now over everyone. And I just thank you for this beautiful day, this paradise that you have brought us in. I know there are things going on that makes it not look like a paradise, God, but these are the things that come at the hand of the imperfectness of who we are. And those that are around each and all of these imperfect situations that are going on right now, those that are experiencing this love, this fullness of love, let those hands that are in those areas in the times of strife, wherever it may be, provide a gentle touch, provide a gentle a voice, provide a, the kindness and the meekness and the humility, God, and the love. So not only do they put it on and we put it on ourselves, but we 
share it and put it on others. And I just pray these things in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. Have a wonderful Monday. Love you guys. Mwah.